for our signature See the Story segment. Our studio here is smelling rather good, mm. rather fragrant. Right. I think good is an understatement, Krishna. Understatement, yeah. It smells uh, relaxing, maybe. Even. Yeah, I like that. Right. Now, before we jump into the discussion, into finding out what we're going to talk about, I want to first ask Kai, as a mother and a housewife, how important is it for you to have your house smelling good? 1,000%. Uh, right. So, my kids love my house smelling like cookies, but I prefer my room to smell like lavender. Right, okay. <laughs> Cookies and lavender. Right. Good mix. <laughs> I mean, that's the same with my wife as well. You know, she buys reed diffusers and all, yeah. all, all that jazz for our house as well. And uh, Kai and I will be making reed diffusers today with our mentor, Alberto Satya Pranata. He is the uh, founder of EU ODL, right? Yes, yeah. EU ODL. All right. Thank you so much, Albert, for coming to our studio. Thank you as well for having me. Right, so talk to us more about EU ODL. This is your own business, right? Yeah. So Yodia Home, we create um, reed diffusers, candles, right. and we create everything in-house in our workshop in Tangerang. Yeah, in uh, and we have several stores as well in Jakarta, mainly in Sarina Tamarin, and we also have two stores in Orange Groves and Indonesia Design District in Siktu. So that's where we retail our uh, reed diffusers, and in, in our stores, you're able to have a bespoke experience. So you can create your custom-made perfumes, you can custom-make your own uh, reed diffusers, candles, and solid perfumes as well. Oh, where in Tangerang is your, um, you know? Um, uh, factory, yeah, your workshop. Yeah, your workshop. Yeah, that's in, um, close to Bitung Karawachi. Ah, yeah. that's so close to where I live. Right, <laughs> yeah. not far, that's not far I was like, where I live as well. Ooh. So yeah. that's yeah. certainly interesting. So we can come to your store or um, workshop, make an appointment, and then we can have yep. this, you know, this experience of trying to make our own fragrance. Is that, is that? Yeah, Yo, uh, the store in Orange Grove, uh, we can, uh, we're able, you, you guys are able to come, of course, and create, create it there. Mm. Yeah. Wow, certainly something to do with the, with a wife for a day? Yeah, exactly. Right? right? If your wife loves fragrances, course, like, why not? It. I mean, it's very funny because before we went on air, my wife was up. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're going to interview him? And you're going to make these? Like, and, she was saying, and she was telling me, this is my favorite one. So I guess, I don't know. She's like, giving a hint so as she, to which she, one. She has a request on which <laughs> yeah. fragrances to use. It's faded. It's faded. It's faded. Yeah. So, well, right. that's certainly too. Okay. So, what made you want to start um, Uodia? Because this is a very specific thing, like yeah. fragrances. So growing up, uh, like when I was studying, the like reed diffusers actually helped me help me relax and focus. Oh, yeah. So that was easily available in Australia where, mm. I, where I studied. Yeah. And then moving back to Indonesia in 2014, okay. that wasn't available, um, and oh. I was just struggling to find. I mean, they were they, there were some that were imported, but they were really expensive. Okay. So. Uh, with my background in chemical engineering, I thought, why not try? Wow, it? That's interesting. that is cool. You did cool. chemical engineering, and then okay. I mean, this is. I mean, also I'm comfortable mixing, and and here I brought some of the equipments I use anyway. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it, uh, that's that's where it all where it all started. And yeah. then my family also um, they're in the interior industry. Oh, interior, uh, so it was furnishing. a perfect fit. So it was a compliment. Uh, it it complemented their products pretty much, and then it took off from there. Okay. Wow, yeah. so you've been doing this for quite a while. When did it start to pick up? Uh, yeah, so I started in 2015. Uh, it started to pick up, I think, a year or two later. Mm -hmm. uh, it was pretty quick. Like, I, I, I retailed in major department stores like Sogo, oh. Galeries Lafayette, in, in a year Metro. Or, or? Uh, yeah, that was all within a year. Wow, that's very fast. And mm. I mean, I was, I'm thankful and grateful for that um, mm. experience. I'm, I still am there now as well. So. Wow, I like awesome. it. I love awesome. that this is a local product, by the way. Yeah, local product as well. <laughs> yeah. And um, okay, so we're gonna keep on talking about uh, you know your you know this, yep. this business while we try making some reed diffusers. Something for my wife. Trisha's well. wife. Right. Better be proud of the husband. He's yes. gonna come home. He's watching home. With with something nice today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, yes. what materials do yes. we have here? If you can talk us through. So, um, yeah. Um, the basic uh, composition of a fragrance is a top, middle, and base note. Mm -hmm. So, these are already uh, categorized in top and the middle and base notes, uh, where we um, find one that you like. Mm -hmm. So, I heard you like lavender. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I love lavender. Lavender is the room must have because when you enter the room, uh, you know, the bedroom, you want to smell like it's a spa and relax and time to sleep, right? 
<laughs> so this is the lavender that we have. Uh -huh. um, try and smell that. And then we are going to try and elevate oh, it so with another scent. So maybe with like, um, do you like rose? Can I try chamomile? Chamomile, yes. Mm. Oh, this is ready to sleep fragrant. Yep. Yeah. So here you go. And that's lavender with chamomile. Right. And that's how your diffuser will smell like when blended. So it'll be a lavender <sighs> and chamomile blend. Yeah. So nice. Try it, try it, try it, try it, try it. So those are two notes. Uh, you're available, you're welcome to try on another one. So it makes it more complex, makes uh -huh. it more, um, yeah, it makes it more nice. Or you can keep it just with two notes. Okay, before we go further, just maybe explain more. What yeah. is the top note, the middle note, the base, base. note, like why? So a to the, the top notes actually are the ones that ev uh, are more volatile. They evaporate faster. Right. Uh -huh. So you, th those are the first ones you smell no, when yeah. you open, it, okay. open the diffusers up. And then the middle uh, notes, they linger on for a bit longer. Mm -hmm. And then the base notes, they're the ones that sort of, it's like there, not there, but it, it stays till the very end. Stays till the very end. Oh, yep. Stays till the very end. So uh, then you'd have to choose one from each note. The guideline is that you uh -huh. have to choose one from each note, but you're welcome to personalize it, make it however you want. Ah. Okay. Okay, so, so I already chose mine, Krishna. You, you, what, what did your wife request? She likes a Shanghai Garden, so maybe something similar to that. So something similar. So Shanghai yeah. Garden is like an aromatic, uh, spicy scent. Oh, okay. spicy! Yeah, she likes spicy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Yeah. So uh, maybe we'll create with. Um, let's try like citron. Citron mm -hmm. is like uh, citronella. Right. Because Shanghai Garden also has citronella. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, Shanghai Garden. Yep. Okay. That's the trunk. So you can try that out. Okay. Mm. And then maybe mm. I will add on herbena on top of it. So you can have two top notes. Uh, yeah, well, because she said she likes Shanghai Garden. Okay. <laughs> That's what I'm doing at the moment. Right, yes. okay, fine. Of course, you're welcome to have two top notes. Okay. Just long tea. Mm -hmm. And I think... Okay. Yeah, this, this smells like my room. Oh, it does? <laughs> <laughs> it smells like I'm like, a... okay. Did I? Oh, I hopefully I hit the spot. I... Ooh. Can I, can I uh, see what oolong lang -lang. smells like? Oh. Yeah, sure. Lang -lang. Oh. I love oolong. It's oolong tea, right? That's oolong tea, yes. Because tea with lavender would be perfect. I think. Here you go. I, I drink lavender tea. <laughs> That's oolong. Here. Oolong. It's quite a dark... Kind of like I love it. black tea kind of vibe. Mm. I like that. Too. Can you give you my? That's, yep. that's there you go. Mine, right? I'm gonna and I'm gonna combine it. Yes. <laughs> that's actually how you do it. Sometimes I, oh, this smells like. Does it smell great together like that? So I just combine the two pieces of paper. Oh, it then, does smell good. It does. I think I. Are you sold on this one? Yeah, I'm sold on this one. I'm sold on this one. Okay, so just add a question. You know, um, he has his, his wife has his favorites. <laughs> I have my favorites like lavender. But yep. what are usually the most popular scents that you find? There's actually no popular scents, surprise, okay. surprise, for bespoke perfumes. Because mm. everyone is really different. Right. Yeah. Based um, on preference. Based on preference. Yeah. I mean, there is like a general preference for Indonesians to like more florals. Mm -hmm. Okay. But... Um, I really haven't seen a trend in, in like bespoke perfumery, like bespoke reed mm -hmm. diffusers. So, I mean, if you come to your store and you kind of like, okay, I want to make a reed diffuser, like, how do you go about like choosing, you know, based on your, I think based on your personality or what you like? Or I think based like, is on, there like a guide that you, you, you give? Based on personality, okay. you have to like the mm -hmm. scent that you choose. And then two is also where you'll be putting them. So you mm. don't want, uh, you don't want something too relaxing in a, in a, in a living room. Mm -hmm. Maybe like a workspace okay. room. Like, That's right. Like yeah. in an office. Yes. Like it, you would just doze off to sleep if it's too relaxing. So what are usually the ones that symbolizes, what are, which scents are usually for relaxing and which scents are usually for like more focus? I think tea, definitely. Uh, tea and uh, lavender. Mm -hmm. Those aromatics are usually for relaxing. Mm -hmm. And then for focused, I think I'll go with more citrusy scents. Mm -hmm something that freshens up the space. Okay. Also, maybe um, some light florals as well. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, so we really want to uh, go go about and make these diffusers. Yes! Um, but we're going to have to take a very short break. After we return, we're going to make our reed diffuser for the toddler.
Yes. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned to the three-hour news show.